Hey, this is JJ with Deluxe Vehicle Detailing. I'm just doing a real quick video on what you can expect from a Mako paint job, uh, you know, after about two years if your car sits in the sun. So I'm in the bed, it's an eight foot bed, of a uh, 03 Toyota Tundra. And I've got an orange Lake Country foam pad, and I have some Grios Garage Fast Correcting Cream. This is kind of somewhat between a polish and a compound. I like it, there are many out there. I'm also boosting just a bit with some 3D 510 rubbing compound. Just a couple dots on the pad. Um, and I'm gonna show you that, you know, what I've been able to accomplish in just, you know, 10 minutes on a quarter of the top of the uh, uh, cab here. <laughs> I wanted to say hood. One of my last videos, I said hood. So, you know, the client called me. The, faint, the paint is very faded. It sits outside. It's red. Red is a tough color, like all dark colors. It absorbs a lot of heat, and it fades, and you'll get this hazy, you can see the hood down there is the same exact way as here. So what I did after a thorough wash and a clay bar and iron fallout remover and some panel prep to make sure I've got a nice clean surface is I went ahead and just polished this with six section passes. That's, you know, one way up and one way back that is uh, a section pass and in six i stopped halfway through kind of checked where it was going and that's when i decided to dab just two little dabs of a uh, rubbing compound just to get a little more bite but you can really see Aside from the scratches, aside from there is still some oxidation left, um, you know, we're not going show car quality on this, but you can see nothing nice gloss. And of course, after you put, you know, whatever protection you're going to use, be it a wax, a sealant, a ceramic coating, you're going to have a higher gloss. So... It's pretty easy. It corrects pretty quick. I have tried to polish down. These lines are from something in the ceiling. So I've tried to blend the tops into the side areas like here over the back glass. And, uh, and this is, uh, it, it really corrects pretty quickly as far as you know, oxidation goes. So anyway, thought I would just shoot it, help you out if you're wondering whether you can, you know, polish and save some, you know, pretty severely, and get you in some really good lighting here. I mean, this paint sits outside, uh, there's pine noodles everywhere, so I know that there was some, you know, sap, you can see the drip marks, the water marks, the paint is, is kind of a single stage. Um, I think it's a polyurethane paint that has a clear coat kind of built into the paint. My pad has an, just a little bit, ignore the yellowish, that was from a all-in-one, but um, it, it picked up just a little bit of pink with six pe section passes. So it's not like a true clear coat because it's, or I'm a uh, single stage rather, it's got the, uh, it's got the clear kind of built into it, not a separate layer. So look at that line though, there, 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 there. Pretty easy, very doable. If you're a detailer and you're, you know, kind of faced with a Mako paint job or, or any, you know, paint that's got some oxidation really this is what you can expect out of Mako. hey under five minutes give me a thumbs up hit the notification bell Bing! 
and uh, you'll be notified to great videos just like this. Some of them are long, some of them are short. And uh, I uh, thank you for being with me. Give me a comment. Let me know what you're going through. I'm always happy to help you out. Take care.